of the Foreign Affairs uh, Committee in the European Parliament and I have already written three letters on behalf of the Kashmiri people um, to the our, our Foreign Office which is called the External Action Service. Now our External Action Service have a, an office in Islamabad and we have a European Ambassador in Islam Islamabad. So what I intend to do now is to ask the, uh, our ambassador <coughs> in Islamabad to send somebody to see you. Uh, I can't guarantee that this will happen, but I will, um, I, I will start this process tomorrow. I will write tomorrow to um, Mrs. Mogherini, who is our equivalent of a foreign minister uh, for European Union, and I will ha ask her to, to uh, order the, uh, our delegation in Islamabad to come to your group and uh, meet you and uh, listen to your, your, your demands. Um, also, I have already um, um, spoken in debates. We had a debate on the situation in Kashmir in uh, last month in the parliament in Strasbourg. And um, it was very clear that uh, our foreign minister had understood all of the briefings we had given her. She was asking for the curfew to be lifted uh, and also for the regional government in Jammu and Kashmir to be reinstated. Uh, the European Union's view is that this is uh, um, an illegal um, move by Modi to, to get rid of the regional, regional government. So we are pressing on all, all fronts. Um, it's very difficult because uh, Mr. Modi is behaving rather like uh, many other world leaders at the moment in that he is breaking all the, the international rules. Um, mm. He's not alone. We have uh, many. We have Mr. Putin in Russia. We have Mr. Trump. We have Mr. Xi Jinping. They are all now breaking the rules along with Mr. Modi. And, uh, but we will try. We will do everything for you so that uh, hopefully we can get a more rules-based international order and, uh, and we can get back to the situation where you can cross the line of control and um, meet your family members and, and also if we can get the mobile phone and the internet back up in Jammu and Kashmir then you can, you can communicate with your, your family members and this is very very important. But in the long run, we would like to see the uh, regional government reinstated. And in the even longer term, we would like to see a permanent solution to the situation in Kashmir so that the two parts of Kashmir, uh, Indian and Pakistan controlled, can be reunited. That is what we would like to see. And uh, that, this is something that I've been personally working on for 10 years. And... Um, it's a, it's, a, it's a lifetime's work sometimes, these, these, these issues. So uh, my, my thoughts are with you, my support is with you, and I will do everything that I can to talk to the people that I have influence with uh, to come and speak to you and then to move the situation on towards a resolution. Thank you.